All right, so uh, I'll need to take us back to home. I'll, I'll need to do something. So what I'm going to do, uh, let me come back to this web.app. So instead of the auth login, okay, I want it to go straight to maybe home, okay, or the dashboard thing. So I'll take it back to welcome. I'll take it back to welcome. Uh, follow along or subscribe because there are certain there's certain logic I want us to learn. So I'll take it back to welcome. So if I refresh, it goes back to welcome. However, I want someone to reach out to another page when, when they log in. So the first thing we're going to do is register. So I'll run PHP Artisan. PHP Artisan Migrate. So what it's going to do, it's going to run a migration for us and we'll see what that migration is. But however, to get that migration, we have to come here to the database folder, okay? Then under migrations, you see we already have a user's table, a password's table, and a failed jobs, and then the personal access token. This personal access token is new. It wasn't there in older versions. However, it was there in Laravel 8, but it is running personal access tokens on Sanctum by default. Now, what Migrate is going to do, it's going to come back to our database here and then create the tables for us, okay? But it's going to begin with the default user's table. So I'll press enter, okay? So it is talking about, it is talking about something that is, okay, one, I think it is looking, let's see, okay, unknown, database table afifam light okay so let me go and check okay this is afifam and i i was looking for afifam light all right so i need to okay let me see let me go to databases where is database mysql database databases okay so i do tick on this okay okay let me drop it then i create a new one so i'll create affi farm affi farm light okay then i create great so this time around i'll, I'll if i run I'll do clear, oh sorry, I'll do type clear here, and then run php artisan migrate. Great, so it is also complaining about something, about the specified key being too long. Okay, so there's a solution for this. So however, if I come back and refresh Afifam light, I already have migrations and users. Okay, but however, it has given us a warning. So I'll come to Afifam Light, then I tick, tick, and then drop this. So I'll come and drop this, and we first make a solution for the other. Okay, so we are going to go to, um, we are going to go to Google here, and then we type Laravel specified key was too long it has already come up as a suggestion and then we'll look at the solution so the solution is simple um we can look at stack overflow and we also look at this okay and i'll show you the solution so i don't know if i booked that solution already okay but none of these okay you can see they have zero uh from gripper zero apps from gripper but Gripper will always come at the first suggestion, okay? So let me show you this. So this can work, but I haven't tested them. However, this is what I usually follow, okay? So you go, so the guide is you go to, okay? So look at this. So I can add this to Gripper now, okay? Specified key is too long. And then save this as a Gripper answer, okay? So let me see, if I come back and search for specified keys too long, you can see it is coming back as the first. 
on my side because I've added it to my gripper answers and it's no longer showing the others, okay? So, I can give this an upvote, okay, using gripper. So, the answer is, okay, I can click now to the source and it will open the source for me. It is the same source that I have here, okay? Now, the answer is, again, that uh, to fix this, you have to go to edit your app service providers.php, okay? So the app service provider, okay, you have to come here and look for, okay, providers, then app service provider, okay, here it is, sorry, auth, app service provider, and then it is saying for us to look at the boot. So I'm going to go to the boot and the first thing i need to do is add this in our illuminate so this is a facades so i come up here and add it under facades so i paste that then the second thing i need to do under the boot i need to add something else so i copy this okay schema default string is that then i add it under the boot okay then i come and save all Great. So if I run the migrate here again, so PHP artisan migrate, everything is created and we have no errors. All right. So now that everything is created under aff aff affiliates, okay, if I go to migrations, you'll see that the first table that is created under migrations is the users table and all these other tables. So this migration is showing all the tables, okay, registers all the tables that are going to be created here. So if I go to the users table, this is what they expect from us. They expect a name, email, okay? And then if uh, the email is verified and what, and we are going to go into that. So that is why we are going to come and choose to register. So the name will be as usual, Kamiya Simon. And then the email, okay, cranklooker at gmail.com. And then my password, leave the suggested one. For these projects, I do a simple password, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And because it expects eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me show you where it expects eight. So if I come to, let me close this. If I come to, um, okay, the uh, where we have HTTP, then I look under controllers, then I look under auth controllers, and I look at the registration controller, okay? Then I scroll down to the required, okay? In the password, it expects a minimum of eight. So that's why I'm providing eight. Great, so let me go ahead and register. Okay, I am registered, okay? Now, and you can see it is showing my name, but it has taken us to home. 